Ramadan Musiho is the site leader of interns at Mlago National Referral Hospital. He is part of the 1,900 medical interns in the 2023-2024 cohort who were posted in government health facilities across the country. They began their internship in August 2023. For the first five months, they have been receiving a million shillings each as their allowances as a provisional measure. However, they now want their allowances reinstated to the previous pay of between 2.2 and 2.7 million shillings as approved by a presidential directive. His directive of the juniors receiving half uh, of their seniors in 2021, to be specific, uh, yes, in 2021, and so for one cohort, which happens to be the 2022-2023, happens to be the only cohort so far that benefited. And after all this court, this figure has never been reinstated. You can look at us right now. The whole figure that been that have granted us is a one million figure, which is contrary to what the president offered in his directive. The past six months that we've been for our internship, we have only received five uh, M, and that is because they haven't paid even the, the sixth month of Jan. However, according to the directive, we are supposed to be earning about two point seven M per month. That, that gives a total of about 16.2 million in the past six months, with the net pay of about 1.83. So the last six months would have already got around 10.98 M. However, if you look at what we've just received so far, that is about only 5 M in the past six months. We're actually waiting for the President of Uganda to make sure that he makes it clear that if it is him, that maybe if it was him and he backslid on his previous previous decision to increase the salary of interns, then he should actually come out and tell us, no, I actually made a decision and reduced this amount of money. The Federation of Uganda Medical Interns started their industry action yesterday. They say their response has been positive across the country. However, according to the Ministry of Health spokesperson Emmanuel Ainebiona, the government previously had a challenge of delayed payments for medical interns due to lack of funds. However, the ministry says a solution within government's reach in terms of resource envelope was reached. The resources available can only permit payment of that one million shillings net, which was communicated clearly in their deployment letters. Ministry officials say they were surprised that the medical interns are diverting from what was resolved when they started their internship. The same group that was appearing to government they, that they wanted to be deployed and complete their internship and get registered and licensed to practice medicine. So the, the, the challenge of inavailability of money remains and it's not within the control of the Ministry of Health. An appeal has been made to the medical interns to focus on concluding their last rotation to avoid creating further disruptions in the internship cycles. We already have a backlog of those ones who have been patiently waiting for deployment. So we hope that they will be able to remain on their duty stations as they conclude and we are also preparing to ensure that we deploy because already there was a disruption in the internship cycles. In some upcountry government hospitals, the industry action has started to affect service delivery. Oliver Asimwe, who brought a patient at the regional referral hospital in Fort Porto, attests to this. <laughs> We came here yesterday. We slept here, but no one has attended to us. It is not right. We were just from delivering uh, our letter, our notice of legal action to the hospital director uh, because of the concerns that have been coming up from the different internship sites in the country that uh, some of our colleagues uh, are threatened that uh, their contracts are going to be terminated uh, in contradiction to what the, the constitution says about our rights to express our rights uh, through the peaceful industry action.